Hi, my name is Ben Bloodworth. I work with Rivers Edge West as the program coordinator for the Tamarus Beetle Monitoring and Education Program. I want to talk to you today about taking beetle monitoring points and how you can provide that data to us. Uh, first, we're going to go over a sweep net procedure. Uh, it was developed in coordination with the Colorado Department of Agriculture and UC Santa Barbara more than a decade ago and is how we've gotten most of our data for points across the West. So the equipment you'll need is a data sheet that we provide on our website for recording your observations, a GPS unit so that we know where those observations are being recorded, and a sweep net is very handy to actually capture insects that may be on the tree. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have access to a sweep net, we'll also talk about uh, protocols we have for observing the tree rather than sweeping. So where do you want to sweep? Basically any tamarisk anywhere is good to look for beetles because we like to know where they are and where they aren't. Uh, a good clue for where they may be is the yellowing of the tree like on this one you see behind me. Uh, so this is a prime candidate for sweeping. It's not a completely green tamarisk. There's something going on here. It may or may not be beetle or another insect. It could just be a natural process of the tree, but that's why we're gonna sweep and see uh, what is on this tree, if anything. So for the visual observation, basically you find a plant and look at it for five minutes to see if there are any signs of beetle, eggs, larva, or adults. Uh, this can really be necessary in an area that's been hit really hard by the beetle in the past and there are just a few green branches in the center of the tree that doesn't allow you to sweep the tree. Uh, so we'll try that right now on this tree behind me. So we're just going to look until we find beetle or five minutes is ended. So basically you just start visual observation looking for any eggs or adults. Uh, we have an adult right here. Uh, also, one that can count for the observation is a larva, which we have right here. Uh, so obviously, within just a few seconds, we found beetles on this tree. So this you would mark as a presence point. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, actually look at the entire tree and see if the amounts of insects are high and note that on your sheet as well. So the sweeping protocol uh, is maybe a little confusing because it's five sets of five sweeps. So what does that mean? Basically that means if you find a large tree like this one, uh, you can do all five of your sets of sweeps on this tree. Uh, if you just have a few scattered trees, you can kind of get a GPS point among those trees and just do five sets of sweeps. So what is a set of sweeps? Uh, basically one set is five sweeps with this net. Uh, then you will do that an additional four times on that tree for five sets of five. So you're actually doing 25 sweeps with the net that counts as one point. You always want to sweep up if possible because the beetles have a built-in mechanism that they drop from a limb when that limb is disturbed. So if you go down, you will probably just knock them onto the ground. So basically, we want to do a set of sweeps uh, like this. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. Then you want to make sure that whatever you caught stays in there so you can sweep the net back and forth like this. Grab it, and then we're going to observe to see what we have in here, if anything. So basically, just begin to get down into the net. Oh, we have an adult beetle there already. And this is a first instar larva on the sheet that's called a larva with no stripe. Continue to look down into the bottom of the net. See if we have anything else. Oop, some little bug just flew off. And we have another adult. We have quite a few more adults in here. We get down to the bottom, you can see that more adults. All the way to the bottom. So we had, see, 
Looks like about 14 adults, one larva with no stripe, and there's a third instar larva that actually has the yellow stripe down the side. So on our data sheet, we record one larva with no stripe, one with a stripe, and then 14 adults for the first sweep. Then we'll do another four sweeps for one observation point on the tree. So here we've got uh, samples of another sweep. You can see some adult beetles crawling around. Oh, and here we have quite a few larvae. These are all, well there's one second instar, that one at the top there crawling. It's a smaller guy. And then the third instar, those bigger ones down there, actually in that tamarisk litter. Those would be recorded on the sheet. Both of those are recorded on the sheet as older larva, or larva with a line. You can see the little yellow line down their side. Once you've recorded your data on the sheet, obviously it doesn't really help me out or other people who want to know about it out unless you send it to someone. So I would very much appreciate you sending me your data and it will go on our annual map, uh, which you can find on our website at any time. Uh, basically, I will take it in any format you want to send it. If you just want to take a picture of your data sheet, if you want to enter it into an Excel spreadsheet, if you want to just go and find that GPS point on Google Earth and send me a Google Earth image or a Google Earth KMZ file, I take GIS shape files and I can send you an empty shape file for you to populate if you want. But basically any way you can get me your data, I would love to have. Thanks much and happy sweeping.